Hello and welcome to the section 8.3 lecture today. Today we're graphing lines in slope intercept form. By far our best form of a line to graph uh, for graphing purposes and for a lot of other ones too. Um, so slope intercept form of a line is a linear equation written as y equals mx plus b, uh, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Okay, there will be numbers in for m and b. And the way we want to use it is we want to go to our graph, find M, sorry, find B on the y-axis. So let's say B is right here. And we want to put a point there. Then we'll plot another point. using the slope m and then we'll graph our line okay um, and so really this turns into our talk from two days ago when we talked about uh, graphing with a point and a slope but our points always going to be on the y-axis this time so I'll plot my point B, I'll step out my slope. If I want to do it multiple times, I can. Hopefully they're on the same line. And then graph my line. Hopefully straighter than that also. All right, let's look at that in action. Uh, a good skill to have is to be able to tell somebody what the slope and the y-intercept is. In this first one, my, my y-intercept is 7 and my slope is 5, or I like to write it as 5 over 1 to remember me to remind me to move over 1. So anyways, I have uh, b at 7. This one's actually not going to work out too well because, number one, the graph is in a, in a 2 scale, and I can't go up 5 and over 1, so I actually have to go down 5 and left 1. Oops, that's left 2. I want to go left 1. Let's try that again, down five, I guess that's right here, and left one, okay? So now that I have those, I can graph my line. I need to adjust it a little bit. That is okay, come on, there we go. And drag that one back a little, there we go. Let's see how we can do on some of our own. The next one, I have y equals x plus 3. I would like to know what my slope and my y-intercept are. Um, so y equals x minus 3. The y-intercept is negative 3, right here. And the slope, the number in front of x, is 1, or 1 over 1. That's probably a better way to say that. So I go to my y-intercept at negative 3, and I go up 1 and over 1. Up 1 over 1. I can step it out a ways so that I can see where this line is going to go. Okay. The next one, y equals negative 1 half x plus 5. So the slope, we already worked on this, is negative 1 half, and the y-intercept is 5. Start off at 5, go down 1 over 2, and put another point, and I can do that several times. I can actually do it all the way. The more points I have, the better. The straighter my line is, the better. And I really know what's going on with this line. When I graph it all the way through, when I draw my line all the way through the graph. So again, we're looking at a shorter video. I'm trying to make them a little shorter. These ones are definitely broken down if that makes it, uh, these, these videos are a little bit easier to be shorter. Uh, but still, make sure if you have any questions, you put them over on the left and put them on, on the, the assignment of this video. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you in class.